What is up? Alex here. And yes, Emmanuel Perfumes, a very new local brand. Let's see how good is it. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, the local fragrance community here in the Philippines is seeing a rise in the number of individuals who are turning into perfumers. And one of those is Miss Jem, proprietor of Emmanuel Perfumes, which we are gonna be reviewing now. So yeah, um, to be honest with you, they have sent me this sample. They personally, her along with her friend, personally came into my place. So oh, kasi malapit lang. <laughs> malapit lang sila sa amin. They personally came to my place to give this discovery set that I have requested for free. I mean, they refused to take the payment and yeah. Um, do not worry. That gesture would not affect the honesty and the credibility of my reviews. And with that being said, let's unpack so yeah let's start to unpack the emmanuel perfumes discovery set and as you can see it has this printed name on it i wanted the discovery set so every fragrance that they have i could try Ito yung contents. Wow. It's packed. Okay. So what we have here is a thank you card. Um, this is a thank you card. This one is the name of her fragrances. And this one is... Wow, look at the dry sealed. Uh dry sealed wax it feels really nice the embossment is clear wax seal looks classy and looks like it's of good quality so yeah um this is another appreciation letter and to unpack this one oh look at the materials used <coughs> this is paper bag this is, I think, an abaca string. Same with the outer ribbon. Now, this one is, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, abaca sheet. So, yeah, it contains the fragrances. And, yeah, parang all of the materials used here, the paper bag, um, the abaca ribbon, this abaca sheet, it's, all of them are, like, biodegradable and earth-friendly. So here at the top notes, parang you'd immediately get yung crushed apple na note niya. Parang may apricot, parang may peach. It is sweet. Yes, it is fruity sweet at the start. I actually have here the base. Dito, sa mga strips na to, andito yung base niya. Sa mid, dun na talaga lumalabas yung vanilla. And then, after that, yung coffee. Soon after, pumapasok na. It's like powdered coffee. This is a coffee-centric fragrance. It's not a vanilla-centric fragrance, okay? Dominant ang coffee dito. It's like 75% coffee. And then the rest is maybe vanilla, musk, ganyan. Pero this one, I see na may enjoy ito ng mga gourmand lovers. Um, sa lahat na may sweet tooth dyan. And I would personally recommend this sa taglamig or Let's say indoors, na time-controlled environments, na naka-aircon ka, ganyan. It's not too formal. It is very casual, to be honest. It's very casual. It's candy-ish, yeah. Pero it's more of coffee and vanilla. So that's it for Cotton Candy Kappa. And as you can see, kulay blue. Yung kanyang liquid. So for the top notes of this, Actually, I do have the base here. For the top notes, we are getting here yung 
parang semi sour na bergamot. It's powdery. I think that is uh, the patchouli note that she used in here. It is. Oh, this is. This is very comforting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it smells familiar. It smells comfortable. Um, I'm getting the patchouli. I am getting. Ayana. I am getting the melon note. Yung amoy ng melon. Alam mo yung pag ginagayat mo yung melon tapos kinahagat mo, di ba? It's not too sweet. But at the same time, it is it is kind of watery. Parang medyo matubig siya, yung melon. Um, it has it has airy qualities. It has airy qualities which makes this parang smell like uh, a baby's clothing. Parang damit ng bata. Pero sa dry down niya, habang tumatagal, para siyang para siya nagiging amoy bata na, amoy baby. Yeah. <laughs> alam niya, alam niya amoy ng baby na parang it's very clean na parang clean skin na almost creamy yung amoy. Ganun siya. It has this, that um, fruity sweetness sa simula na para siyang asul na bubblegum. I actually like this a lot. I could imagine uh, people wearing this in high heat. Yes, kahit outdoors ka pa. This one actually you could also wear very casually. I mean, hindi mo lang mag dress up dito or dress down. I mean, being clean is neutral. Ang galing lang ng support ng melon dito. Kasi yung note ng melon, it does not make this overtly sweet na fruity. Parang ano siya eh, it neutralizes it. It gives moisture. It gives airiness to the composition. Niya. And I'd say this scent, it's not overtly romantic. If, if you know what I'm saying, it's not a seductive scent or whatever. But, dito sa Philippines, sa init dito, yung pagiging amoy malinis at mukhang malinis, I guess dun, dun napapasok yung giggle factor ng babae. <laughs> Gusto mo yan. <laughs> dun napapasok yung giggle factor nila dahil ang linis mong tignan at amoy malinis ka. Bloom with grace, and yeah, as you can see, at the bottle sa mga pambaba eh, medyo kulay pink yun takip niya, like cotton candy kappa. However, yung mga unisex and for men are colored blue. So yeah, right now, Bloom with grace. Oh, for women talaga. The lemon, lemon note dito. It is more like the lemon peel rather than yung flesh mismo the watery flesh of the crushed apples it is there it's fresh it is juicy it's watery and then lalabas na yung rose note niya the rose note here is kind of dry maybe there's some clean musks in the background base niya andun pa din yung lemon uh, lemon peel na note niya. Clean musk, rose, that's what I get dito sa base niya. Now, since this is clearly for women, I'd say you could wear this either dressed up or dressed down. Hindi siya namimili ng ano, ng occasion kung kailan mo siya susuot. It's very neutral kasi it's very clean, it's very feminine. This is like a dumb reach para sa mga babae. If you don't know what to, to wear today na fragrance, this could be your dumb reach. It is very pleasing. Walang wala ka ma-offend dito. Perfect for office, ganyan. Very, it's very familiar yet very comforting then. Initial, initial spray, eh. magugustuhan mo to. Oriental to. Okay, powdery patchouli, nandun pa din. I think that's, that's, the powder, that's where the powderiness is coming from. So medyo powdery siya. Amoy to you, siya. Uh, to you in sense of dry woods. It smells of dry woods. And then, pumapasok yung club note niya. Sa mga nagluluto dyan, I think, alam niyo yung spice ng club. At kung saan ginagamit yan, naluto, di ba? And then, sa mid notes niya, yung vanilla, papasok siya. However, that vanilla acts as just a support. Hindi siya yung nagfo-full on na gourmand. So, may maangot. Hindi <laughs> siya gourmand boy. The club note here, 
is a reminder that this one is a masculine scent. Ganon siya. It has presence na kailangan medyo may color yung suot mo. Medyo Oh, medyo may dating talaga siya <laughs> para sa lalaki. So I suggest colored shirts, ganyan polo shirts or better yet button downs. Um I wouldn't suggest this sa casual na setting. This is more like semi-formal na. Ganun yung dating niya. It's kind of serious, yes. Mm -mm, medyo serious siya. So you better step up your fashion with this. So for this one, I suggest wearing it sa mga dates, ayan. <laughs> dates, um, on more formal occasions, uh, office, yes, office friendly to. Please wear this sa mga temp-controlled environments, air-conditioned areas, kasi baka mamaya pag sa init nyo sinuot to, mag-amp up yung club. Eh, medyo spicy kasi yung club note nya dito. So baka sa mga hindi familiar sa club, baka mailang kayo if mag-amp up siya sa init. So yeah, dapat at least nakagrab kayo or nakakotse kayo and then yung pupuntahan yung destination, air-conditioned para gumana siya ng maayos. Alright, so ngayong alam na natin yung amoy nila, how about the longevity of this? To be completely honest, I was expecting just 3 hours out of this. Yes. However, to my surprise, <laughs> Tumagal siya sa akin na sa skin scent for up to 5th hour. Alexandros, yung oriental na ano, may club. Tumagal siya sa akin until the 6th hour. Which is very surprising, okay? So yeah, kudos. Um, the longevity is really good on this one. On average, yung iba, like uh, Carte Blanche, Cotton Candy, Kappa, and Bloom with Grace, they were playing on my skin mga 4.5. 4.5 hours detectable siya sa akin as a skin scent. By the way, acidic yung skin ko, so if you're not acidic, chances are mas tatagal to sa'yo. Alright? Now the projection. This one, this is an area of opportunity for this collection to improve upon. The projection niya, I would say, it's on moderate to intimate. However, based sa performance niya sa skin ko, I'm leaning towards on the intimate side. I think it's more the intimate side, so para mga close encounters lang siya. Maamoy ka niya na if katabi mo siya, dito, yung partner mo, or if may makasalubong ka, doon ka nila maamoy. Pero this one will not announce your presence, okay? Ewan ko lang kung, kung dinamihan niyo yung sprays. If, if, well, most likely, pag dinamihan niyo yung sprays, that's the solution na uh, if you want attention and you want to announce your presence, <laughs> Yung mga mahilig sa beast mode. <laughs> Ayan, just do more sprays, I guess. Now to wrap this up, price to value ratio. 50 milliliters on the perfume concentration. For every scent in this, in her first collection, it is just 349 pesos. Yes, only 349. Considering the target audience this one is very reasonable. It is very approachable in terms of pricing. Niya. Very approachable for the masses to. I am recommending this. This fragrance line, either one of these four fragrances, I am recommending it. And yes, in the future, I hope she releases more fragrances. And yes, we as a fragrance community here in the Philippines are looking forward to her growth as a perfumer, Emmanuel Perfumes. Well done.